Shalom to you my friends, my name is Isaac Okwala from Trego Studios, you're welcome to today's tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about your video production setup for your church. So the first thing you're going to need is a video camera. Now this is going to, your decision of a video camera is going to be based on your intention for your video production. Now if you intend to use your incorporate live stream into your video production then you have to be careful the kind of camera you buy there are some cameras that um, do not have clean hdmi outputs now what that means is you're going to be seeing some of those details on the settings about the settings of your camera including that focus box you're going to be saying it when you have output through your hdmi output of such cameras now such cameras are not good for live stream so you have to look for cameras with good uh, or clean hdmi output you will also need to consider the kind of lens you buy depending on the position where, where you're going to position the camera and the kind of shot you want to achieve if you are trying to get a shot where you have the backgrounds blurred out and you have the subject in focus then you might look for a camera with um, a very low aperture value as you say a camera that has f 1.2 or f 1.5 so anything above that is going to also affect how you can achieve that depth of field or what they call bokeh where your background is blurred and your subject is in focus yeah so some of these little things you would need to consider before you buy your camera also you should not get carried away with um, the the hardware of whatever camera you want to buy so for instance if you're if you're planning to use a camera for live stream you don't need the 4k quality or the 4k ability of a camera so if you're trying to use that as an advertisement for you so for your purpose as a live stream because most times people don't watch live stream on 4k that's going to be heavy and demanding most people watch it on their mobile phones where hd quality is good enough for them to watch so all right so you don't need a 4k camera to for a good live stream except you want to use your camera for larger screens where you you know you are going to reproduce them on cds and sell them where people can have the ability to watch them on larger screens then you might look for a good quality camera don't just settle for the low budget cameras ones with good quality at least hd cameras and then that 4k quality can be useful in that instance number two equipment you'll be needing is a memory card now you need a memory card if you are going to be recording your pastor sermon or you are going to be recording the feed from on your on your camera so you need a memory card where this file is going to be stored so that you can use that and use that for further processing in post-production now the memory card will vary you are going to buy a size that is going to be adequate for your need so if you want to record in 4k then you know that you're going to need a lot of memory just know the end expectation of your recording so that you can know the kind of memory you should purchase for that purpose the third thing you're going to be needing is a tripod stand qualities to look for in a good tripod stand is um you know, it, it, it must be a fluid tripod stand now fluid in what sense now where you are able to tilt and plan without having any kind of difficulties in the process those kind of tripod is what you'll be needing for your life for, for for your church video setup so you don't want cameras that will cause jaggedness or because you're trying to pan or tilt now you need to pan because pastors are not stable ministers are not stable you need to be panning as they move from left to right even if you're capturing an audience you need a, a, a camera with a good with a fluid movement for you to capture that you know panning effects on your shots also you need a tripod to ensure stability of the camera so if you are carrying the camera in your hand is it's it's going to be jaggy you're going to be having some jaggy movements in your shots it's not going to be stable so you need tripod to have a stable shot so once your camera is locked up to the tripod then there, there is no need for any shakiness of any sort as a result of and early now and early may be useful if you're into a film production scenario where you want a rough kind of scenario 
but in a in a situation like this in your church setting you need to lock off your cameras to the tripod stand so that it can be stable and you can have a stable shot now the fourth thing you're going to be needing is a clean audio source from your audio mixer now you need a clean audio source because the audio that your camera is going to be catch capturing naturally is going to be noisy it's not going to be clean it's not going to be um, clear and that's because the camera picks up audio from sources that are closest to it now if your camera is standing very far away from the halter know that between the position of the camera and where your subject is that you're kind of trying to capture yeah it's going to be a lot of noise that is going to filter into the sound that the camera is going to capture starting with the surrounding noise around you so and you don't want to hear that either you're using for live stream or you're using for post-production you don't want to hear the noise of the of the um, audience which is overshadowing the noise of the main subject so you're going to need a clean audio source from your mixer now you can do this by connecting directly from your mixer into the camera or you later sync it in post-production or if it's a live stream you can bring the video separately into the live stream software bring the audio separately into the live stream audio and then match the two together in that case or in post-production just sync the two together or to make things easier you can bring the audio directly from the audio mixer into the camera if your camera accepts um, microphone inputs not all cameras accept microphone inputs so if your camera accepts microphone inputs and also there are different cameras with different kinds of inputs you know, some will only require that you use a 3.5 mm um, jack plug some will require an xlr cable prosumer cameras do have um, that kind of quality where you can be able to plug in your your xlr cable but for dslrs you will not be able to plug your xlr cable you will have to use a 3.5 mm jack the fifth thing you're going to be needing is your hard drive as your cards get full you will have to empty them into an external hard drive where they will be stored for further processing for further post-production works now you need an artist that can accommodate that kind of um, space that you build that you'll be needing in your production and it's advisable to get more than one yeah so starting from two or three that's okay where you can even duplicate the files the same files on different hard disk now that's just a safety precaution because in case one hard disk gets damaged you can have a backup on the other hard disk and then you can format your card for further use again so once one card is full eject it and copy it inside your hard drive and then take another one in so you can use that for exchange so the sixth thing you will need is a video editing software now that's going to be useful if you plan to do post-production works for your video so i mean you are including video setup in your production for two basic reasons either for live stream purpose or for post-production purpose so if it's just for live stream then you might not need post-production because whatever has been streamed has been streamed now but if you are using for live i mean for post-production works then you need to get a video editor uh, a video editing software so an example is premiere pro which is very common but premiere pro is a subscription based um, software so but you can use other free softwares like um davis resolve there's a free version of davis resolve now that our VC Resolve is not lower in any way to Premiere Pro. It's very standard and advanced, but there's a free version of it, which will also limit the ability of the studio version, which is the paid version. So you can get that and start use that for editing your clips, adding intros, adding outro, adding Bible text, adding the title of the minister, doing whatever. You can even use it for your for your lower thoughts, which you'll be using in your live stream. That's why you need a video editing software. The seventh thing, which is the last thing on my list, is you will be needing cables for connection. That is from your, if you're applying to live stream, you need to connect your camera to your computer or to your video switcher if you're using a video switcher or a capture card you're going to need a capture card you're going to need audio interface you're going to be needing XLR cables to connect from your mixer into your camera or into your streaming software 
or into your video switcher whatever the case is you're just going to be needing cables to bridge all of these things together now the kind of cable you will need will vary on the kind of equipment you're using now if you're using a camera which has SDR output then it's only wise that you get an SDR cable that will run from your computer into your your video mixer or into your streaming software so if you, are, if you have a camera that has an hdmi output then it's only wise that you buy an hdmi output that will fit into your into your camera now hdmi could be mini could be macro it could be the full size hdmi depending on the kind of camera you're using but cameras with sdi outputs are usually the best because sdi connections are always safer they are safer than hdmi hdmi connections are loose but sdi connections can be very tight and you know secure your whole setup so that's it the seven basic things you'll be needing to set up video production for your church broadcast if you've learned one thing or the other through this video just click the like button and you can share this video with others that you know needs this kind of video and subscribe for more contents like this and click the notification bell so that you can be notified the end time we post a new video so thank you for staying to the end of this tutorial till i come your way next time remain in the lord's service god bless you